Grade 8 Math number 11.2G. We're going to talk about using the exterior angle theorem. We talked about this a little bit in the last video. So the exterior angle theorem says the measure of an exterior angle is equal to the sum of its remote interior angles. We talked about this too, remote interior angles. So what are those again? Okay, so we know 4 is our exterior angle. We extended the line coming out of the base of the triangle and 4 is our exterior. Well, a remote interior angle does not share a vertex with the exterior angle, and 3 does, so that's not one of them. That's not a remote interior angle. So that means 1 and 2 are our remote interior angles. So the measure of angle 4 is equal to the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2. That's what that theorem's saying, okay? We can use the exterior angle theorem to find the interior measures of a triangle. Let's do that. So here's our triangle, okay? You can see I've extended the base out past point D, and we've got A, B, and C, and the measure of angle A is 4Y minus 4 degrees, the measure of angle B is 3Y degrees, and the measure of A, C, D, this is the exterior measure here, is 52 degrees, okay? We're not told what the interior C is, all right? So we can use the exterior angle theorem to find the measure of A and B. We write the exterior angle theorem as it applies to this triangle. So remember, the exterior measure, 52, is going to equal these two remote ones way away from it, okay? So that means the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B is going to equal the measure of angle A, C, D. So we substitute the angle measures that were given for A and B, and we get 4Y minus 4 degrees plus the 3 de 3Y degrees is going to equal 52, all right? 4y minus 4 degrees plus 3y degrees is going to equal 52 degrees. Now all we have to do is solve the equation for y. So let's do that. The first thing we're going to do is remove the parentheses from here and simplify it. And we see we have 4y and 3y, and when we put them together we get 7y. We drop down the 4, the negative 4, and the 52, so we add 4 to each side, and that creates our friend, our zero pair here, right? It gets rid of the negative 4, because we added 4 to both sides. So the 7y drops down, we got 7y degrees is equal to, 52 and 4 is 56, 56 degrees, see that? So now, to isolate y to one side, we need to divide each side by 7, because 7y is multiplication and we're doing inverse operations. The inverse of multiplication is division, so we divide both sides by 7, this gives us our buddy the invisible 1, right? So the y just drops down, and 56 divided by 7 is 8, so y equals 8. But we're not done. We know that y equals 8. We still need to plug it in to what those measures were. The measure of angle A was 4y minus 4, so that's 4 times 8 minus 4. That's 32 minus 4. 32 minus 4 is 28. Measure of angle A is 28. Measure of angle B was 3y, so that's 3 times 8. It's 24 degrees. So now we know the measures of the two angles. Now there's one thing I wanted to point out to you. We have to know that y, if it was equal to 1, that would give us 4 times 1 is 4 minus 4, and that would be 0 degrees. So we know the answer cannot be 1, because the measure of angle A is not 0 degrees. We can look at it and tell it's not 0 degrees. See that? It's got some oomph to it, doesn't it? Now, could it be less than 1? Well, if it was less than 1, like a negative 1, 4 times a negative 1 would be negative 4, negative 4 minus 4. Now we're saying that the measure of angle A is less than 0. It's down in the negatives. No, it's not that either. We also know that Y must be less than 14, because if we multiply it by 14, we end up getting a 52, and if this is a 52, then that means that's a 0. And we know the measure of angle B is not a 0. So we know it's greater than a 1 and less than 14, and it turned out to be 8 right in the middle. It worked out perfectly, didn't it? So I hope this was helpful. I hope you're doing okay. I hope you're having a, a good day and you don't have too much homework. And if you got a lot of math homework, I hope this is helping. Keep your chin up. You're going to do fine. I'll see you next video. We're going to go on to the next unit. 11.3a. Bye.